And before I get to this video, if you want to check out Technetics Metal Detectors, I've got a link in the description. They've got a lot of sales going on, and I also have a discount code in the description that'll get you $50 off and free shipping on select detectors. I went with Andy Detecting, and we hunted some older 1950s homes, mainly just looking for Civil War bullets and Civil War relics. Um, but it kind of led us in the direction of a permission that I was hoping to get. And I got in touch with the landowner and they let us metal detect the field behind their house and we found a lot of things, so check it out. Alright, so today I'm out with Andy, he's right behind me there. Say what's up Andy? What up? <laughs> got the big storm coil on there. And if you look down, I just popped it out. It's a nice dropped three ringer in the Civil War. Beautiful piece of American history right there. And maybe we'll find a couple more of these today. That's awesome though. Dropped Union three ringer. All right, all right. Andy's telling me he's got. Oh yeah. Finally got something today. You got an infield. infield. Infield bullet. Yep. Nice Confederate bullet. Yep. So. Yeah, there's a similar signal over there, like by your feet. Yeah, is it a piece of camp lead? No. Yeah. Yeah. Camp lead. Huh. Nice. It's only a quick 11 o'clock. I know, this is awesome. I'm with um, Andy, who's over there, and we have been looking at this spot for such a long time, and I finally caught the owner's home, and they said, sure, have at it. You know, we're um, getting the house together and doing some construction as well, and they didn't mind at all, so we've got this whole area to detect. Now, I don't know if you remember from last time, but right behind me in that separate property over there, we dug about 20 bullets in one day, including a carved spencer, um, as well as like some other drop three ringers and things like that. So we're gonna get going, and hopefully we'll we'll find some awesome relics. I think there's huge potential at this property. Can't wait. Pull it out of there. I just popped it, and then it's a drop three ringer. Nice man. Look at that. Yep. It sounded like a bullet Sweet. too. Sweet. It's in great, dude. It look. You can see the mold patina. seam on it. I know. That's a good one. <laughs> cool. Heck yeah. Good job. Yep. Pound it. Yep. <laughs> and keep on finding more. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I just dug a piece of camp lead over there. Yeah, this is. So. It's gonna be all along this fence line right here. I oh, think. Oh yeah, for sure. So. All right. Just got down. It was a really good signal. God, that was at least up to there, probably around 12 inches. And I just dug this fired infield bullet. That's a Confederate bullet though. And we're in the right area to find some stuff. It came up on the T2 around 75 to 76, which is a great tone. I knew it was good. Drop Williams cleaner. And he just got a drop Williams cleaner. He's right there. So as I find my bullet, Andy's got <laughs> Andy's got a bullet as well. Nice! Oh my goodness! I know. It's awesome. For like, that's probably the nicest William. Cleaner that's so I've ever cool! Found. Look, I just got a fired infield. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's all over. Oh yeah, for sure. Cool. Sweet. Let's keep pounding this. I mean, I think we're gonna have a great day today. <laughs> awesome. We'll be back to y'all in the next. I'd say that's nine inches. Well, plus the, yeah, around nine inches deep. If you look at that. Little tiny uh, 36 caliber pistol ball. Look, you can see the mold sprue from where they molded it. It's been cut off right there. This is very nice though. It came up really great on the T2, so. We're gonna keep going here. You can see the mold line right there. 
just shows how significant this piece of history is. But it was, man, it was down, down about six inches. You can see it right there. It's a Spencer casing. For a Spencer bullet. Nice piece of Civil War brass though. I don't find these a lot, so let's keep going in this area and see if anything else comes up. Andy told me he's got like six bullets now, and I'm like, how? Anyways, still a really cool find from the Union Army that was here. Alright, little faint tone down in the bottom of the hole. God, that's gotta be how deep? Like maybe 10 inches or. 11 inches or so. It's giving a good signal. Come on, big brass, please. <clears throat> oh! It's a Spencer casing, but I think the whole thing's in there. I guess that was it. Dang, that Spencer casing was so deep. It was like 13 inches, had to be. Easily. It read it up just fine on the T2 as well. That is crazy to me though, how a casing can get 13 inches. I mean, it's from the Civil War, so it's over 150 years old, but. That's still crazy. Awesome piece of history, let's keep going. Andy just got a three ringer, but it's been wormed on the top. Yeah, I kind of see it there, it's still all muddy. That is so cool. Yep. Awesome, man. How deep was that? <laughs> Length of the damn pinpointer, look at that. That was in the bottom of that. All right, about six inches in that hole. Just got a fired infield bullet. That's Confederate for sure, all day long. See the base of it there. Gave a really good signal though. Look what just popped out, it's another Spencer casing. So we're getting on top of some Civil War brass today, which is awesome. I love this field. It's a great place to find stuff. What we've been really kind of doing is wandering around the field. We're kind of just getting a sense of what the site is right now, and then probably once we come back later, we're gonna grid it off. Because, I mean, that's important, so we get everything out of here. Um, that needs to be found. So, landowners are super nice. They said we could come back whenever we wanted to. And we keep hitting it. All right, well, Andy just got a Spencer casing a second ago. I literally walked maybe three or four feet and look at that it's still in the clump I haven't touched it yet I mean that just tells you right there I mean when people say oh that was planted or things like that you cannot fake something like this here wait let's get it out there we go just the imprint it sounds like a Spencer casing right here it does nice It's amazing to be the first person to like actually like touch this in 150 years. It's like the best part of what we do. And when your research actually pays off, because I mean we saw on the map, you know Andy, with like the units went through this area? Huh? Like we know exactly which units like went through this area and yeah. stuff like that. Like who dropped this stuff. It's really awesome to think about.